Hi, so we're back inside the tack room today as it's a bit windy outside and then we lose the sound quality. So I just wanted to talk a bit today about how horses are our best teachers. If we just pay attention to them, watch their expression, let them teach us, take the feedback, which of course requires humility, it requires setting aside our ego and our pride. Um, horses only do two things. Either they do what they think we're asking them to do, or they do what they have to do to defend themselves. So when we keep that in mind and watch their reactions, it can be very clear what's going on. So an easy example could be, so someone asks the horse to stop, um, and the horse goes stops and goes backwards. And the person says, oh, I didn't ask him to do that. I didn't tell him to do that. But if you believe the horse did what you thought him to do, you can then look at your actions and say, okay, well, I asked him to stop and then I didn't let go or I asked too much. So not only did he stop, he stopped and then went backwards. So, um, yeah, like I say, it does require us to be humble and to believe the horse that he's right. You know, Ray Hunt says, the horse is always right. And when you believe your horse is right, you open up a world of possibilities to learn from him, from his reactions and his expressions. So this is something that interests me a lot. We'll be doing another vlog all about expression. And um, yeah, it's so important to pay attention to your horse's expression, take the feedback and adjust what you're doing to be more in harmony with your horse and with your life. Okay, we can apply these principles to daily life as well. Okay, thank you for being with us today and we'll see you again tomorrow.